Hello brothers and sisters, um, and anyone else who may be watching this, this isn't just for my brothers and sisters, and I'd like for this to get around. So, the other night I was really kind of thinking, like, you know, I, I know I feel like I should make a lesson on this or something, and you know me, this is not my normal <laughs> something I would do. So, we're going to go through this really quick. Like I said, I'd like for this to get around, just to kind of educate those who might not have a clue that, I don't know, here, but here's the lesson question. How does God see homosexuality? How do many Eve? Almost everyone in creation, everyone has heard the story of creation, and when God made Adam and his wife Eve to be together, you see... He made one man and one woman to marry each other, not one man and a man, and a, or a woman or a woman. Oops. Sodom and Gomorrah. The destruction of these two cities of Sodom and Gomorrah is an example of how God sees homosexuality. As it was for that exact same reason, or sin, that God destroyed them. You see, there's been evidence found, and it even says in the Bible, that Sodom and Gomorrah were performing homosexual acts. And sure enough, God did warn them, and he gave them a chance. But after a while, judgments do have to come, and it's because of that very sin that Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed. Okay. Where does it say that? You may ask the question, if homosexuality is a sin, then where does it say so in the Bible? There are quite a few Bible verses that show clearly that homosexuality is indeed a sin. Levit sorry. <laughs> Leviticus 18.22 It says, You shall not lie with a male as one with a woman, as it is an abomination. Which means if that one's talking to the male perspective. So if you're a guy, don't go lying um, or doing anything with another male. And if you're a female, just don't do it with a female. That's unnatural and an abomination in God's eyes. Romans 1, 26 through 27. For this reason, God th gave them up to dishonorable passions. For their woman... For the women exchange natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men likewise gave up natural reactions with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committed shameless acts with men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. What so that means is women exchange their natural relations. That means they're burning with passion and lust for each other. Same with these men. No, this isn't anything new. It's been around, but God still sees it the same way. Right. Revelation twenty two fifteen through 21. Outside of the homosexuals, it's very, very clear there. So it's not saying the sexual immoral, that's another thing. And the enemy's trying to stop us. <laughs> All right. Outside of the homosexuals, those involved with the occult and with drugs, the sexually immoral, murderers, idol worshippers, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. So no, it's actually, they make it really, really clear there. They say homosexuals, and then sexually immoral. So they're still two different things. But still, both are a sin. Now, at the end of this presentation, you can still be forgiven. You know, it's never too late until Jesus actually comes. So if you're into the homosexual lifestyle, um, or even thinking about going into it, there's still time to repent, and Jesus will forgive you if you ask him. But you, if you're already in that lifestyle, or, sorry, if you were going to go into it, don't. You know, once you repent, don't go into it. If you're already into it, after you repent, you cannot go back. If you don't repent and Jesus comes, you are, and I'm saying this in the most loving way I can, I'm not saying this out of hate, 
No, I do not hate homosexuals, and neither should any true Christian. I mean, really, the true Christian and th true body of Christ does not hate them. We just don't like the sin and demon that's causing them to feel that way. People might say, like, oh, they're born that way. That's actually not true. You see, you're born with natural. Okay, I don't know if my words are making sense. The enemy's trying to take away my slur. I mean, my slur. My thought change process. Demon, I rebuke you right now in Jesus' name. Hang on. Okay, we got it back. Sorry about that. Enemy does not like me spreading truth, so every time I do a make a video like this, he'll take away my memory and thought process. Thought train. Anyway, and he's doing it again. Enemy, I rebuke you right now in Jesus' name. <sighs> anyway, so no, the true body of Christ does not hate homosexuality. I mean, <laughs> I said that wrong. We do not hate homosexuals. We don't hate the person. And we don't despise them. We don't like the demon that causes them to do that. So you're born as natural, and then at some point in your life, a, the demon of the homosexuality will come into you. Now, it's going to be very subtle. It's not like they're going to show themselves, okay? They come in very, very sneakily. But pretty soon you have that demon there, and it, it, makes you, it actually gives you that feeling. That's the feeling you're doing. I used to have kind of the same thing. I wasn't into the whole homosexual thing, but I was into something called Therianism. Which means I felt like I was in the wrong body. I felt like I was an animal soul in a human body. It's a kind of the same thing. You know, it's the same type of demon and with the whole feeling thing. But no, what you need to do, if you're into this and you do have that demon in you, Rebuke it in Jesus' name. You know, rebuke it and, you know, all right. You know, just say this to the demon. Demon of homosexuality, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you, bind you, and cast you out right now in Jesus' name. Okay? I hope this was able to clear some things up with you guys. We do love you. Jesus is coming and he loves you very much too. He wants you to come to him and repent. That's why he's held off with judgments for so long. That's going to be a different lesson about why he must judge the earth. But So, may God bless you all. Have a nice day.